everyone. I hope you had a wonderful national scrapbooking weekend. I definitely did. Uh, things didn't go according to plan for me, but I still got to scrapbook for a really long time and I really, really enjoyed it. And um, I made this layout, which is one of my favorite layouts that I've made in a long time. I had this little die cut pack um, that I knew had a few pineapples in there. And um, I had seen a little quote on Pinterest or online somewhere saying, uh, be like a pineapple, stand tall, wear a crown, be sweet on the inside. And I really, really liked it. I liked the message and I, really, I thought of my daughter. So I decided to make a layout with that quote as a little message to her in the future, you know, when she's able to read it. And um, so I went looking for a pineapple cut file. And um, I have a scanning cut, so I didn't find a cut file that I liked, but I found this clip art. So because the clip art didn't really have an outline, it just had, um, you know, it was kind of just a black and white clip art. So I um, saved that on my, on my, um, on my flash drive, and I put it in the Scanning Cut website, and it converted it to a file that the Scanning Cut can read. So it turned out to be like this, pine, more like a negative space, um, shaped like a pineapple instead of like actually cutting the whole pineapple out. And um, I was okay with that. I mean, I could have um, turned it over, made a dark outline around the whole thing and had the scanning cut, you know, cut it out. But then I um, thought of Paige Evans and the way she always backs her cut files. So I thought that this would look really cute if I backed it up with a lot of um, some colorful paper pieces. So I got my photo and I got this, I got that um, crown from the uh, cute girl chipboard there was a crown and a heart piece that said sweet and I thought oh that's perfect there's the crown there's the be sweet on the inside so it also had this frame I was looking for a frame for my photo and this one on the cute girl chipboard was just perfect so I pulled out my DCWV um what is it called watercolor it's just called a watercolor stack and this is from Joanne's and if you get it now, um, it should be double-sided. I think they reprinted this as double-sided. So um, the one I have right now is just uh, single-sided. But it has a lot of the same prints. So I picked out some of my favorite papers. And I'm cutting these little... Um, some of these little journaling cards are just plain. They don't have any text on it. So there's this cute um, colorful pineapples and then there's like a yellow and gold pineapples. So I'm cutting those out and I'm getting all my little scraps and I'm going to use those to back up the pineapple. And then the green and teal papers that you see there, I'm going to use those to back the leaves uh, so that it can have more of a green um, color on top. And then this cute one with all kinds of fruit sadly doesn't end up making it on the layout, but that's okay. So while I pick my papers and stuff, let me tell you what happened on um, National Scrapbooking Day. So that was on Saturday, May 6th, right? Um, I had it all set so that my husband would take my daughter out the whole day or as long as they could stay out and I could have an interrupted scrapping time, right? Well, the weather decided not to cooperate with me, and it decided to rain. So guess what? <laughs> they were both stuck at home. So the good thing is that my husband knew that I needed some time <laughs> to myself, to scrapbook and whatever. So he kept her pretty busy um, the whole morning, and... He brought me snacks and he brought me coffee and he made food. So it was it was pretty good. It didn't go according to plan, but it was pretty good. So I can't complain, I guess. <laughs> I hope you guys had a really nice National Scrapbooking Day. I hope you got to do something fun and creative. 
So let me tell you about what I'm doing here. Um, I traced some of the bigger shapes on the pineapple on the back of some uh, of the papers. And the papers that I used to back this cut file, I just gutted some of the bigger 12 by 12 pieces. I cut a square from the very middle of the paper because I can still use that to to um, back up like uh, other layouts. So I didn't want to waste the whole sheet by just cutting out a tiny piece on a corner. So I just cut out from the middle. So to back up the cut file, I did one of two things. Either I turned the f whole sheet itself the whole cut file sheet um, face down onto the back of some pattern paper and trace the pieces and that's what I usually did for the smallest pieces or I took um, the cut-offs from the from the cut file and turned those up face down on the back of some pattern paper and trace those um, so it just depended if it was a bigger piece or a smaller piece um, I did whatever was easier and then I just cut pretty close to the pencil lines, but not directly on the pencil lines. And then to adhere the little tiny pieces to the pineapple, I um, used some regular like scotch tape. Um, and if they were like the ones closer to the middle, like if there was not like not enough space for the tape to hold on. Then I used a little bit of the Tombow, um, Tombow Mono Glue, the white one, and I just put a little bit on the, on the, um, the back of the cut file, and then I put my pieces down. And when there was enough, uh, there were enough pieces down, then I put um, tape over it, so that it would be more secure. And I had a really good idea of where my embellishment clusters were gonna go, so I'm just adhering everything. Um, to the sides of my photo and I'm trying to create the clusters like from the front to the back so I'm adhering I'm putting the glue on the front of the um, die cuts on the parts that I know are going to be tucked in and then I'm sticking that to the pieces that are in front of the die cuts so that I'm not adhering anything to the paper yet and when I'm kind of happy with that, I start working on my, on my quote. Um, I decided to put the quote on my layout using letter stickers. And I had recently found this sticker book from DCWV that is ancient. I think I picked it up on clearance years and years ago. Um, it's called the Flower Shower Sticker Book. And I really wish they made more of these. Um, at the time when I bought this, I was still in that um, mindset that some of us have when we first start scrapping that this is just too pretty to use it on just any layout. I need to save it until I'm such a good scrapper that I'm going to make like wonderful layouts and that's where I'm going to use these pieces. Well, I've been hoarding it for ever and... I really wish I had used more of it. There's only a couple of stickers that I used. So now I left that on my desk and I'm going to try really hard to use, um, you know, to use it up because it's just, it's still pretty. Um, it's not, uh, the style is not like the most current style, but with all the cutesy little, um, you know, designs kind of coming back this year, it kind of, um, I guess it's kind of come back around to be more in style again. So I'm going to try really hard to use it because I still do like it. And there's like pages of alphabet stickers in there. I think there's like three or four different alphabet stickers. And none of them are touched. Like I haven't used any of them and it's really sad. So... There's this one shiny, glittery yellow um, sticker, um, alphabet sticker in the pack that I decided to use for the word tall. So my plan here was to use those um, cream and gold um, rectangle letter stickers. I found those at Target, by the way, um, a couple years ago. And I stocked up. Like I told my friends and my husband, 
you guys, whenever you get a chance, just go into Target to the dollar section, pick me up a couple of those <laughs> because I need them. But I didn't want all of my words to be in that font, so I got my Teresa Collins um, sticker book, and they're like really tiny gold um, alphabet stickers. So I'm alternating um, with those, the cream and gold stickers and the Teresa Collins um, gold, tiny gold stickers. So like right there, you saw you see. Um, you can see it kind of start to take shape. It says be sweet on the inside. And I realized that if I wanted to, that I couldn't start at the top because I needed my last um, sentence to end before my photo. So I started from the bottom up. So now I'm adding the crown there. And uh, I'm gonna write wear a crown with my little stickers and then but for the next one, because I don't really have something to represent tall, I'm just going to use that DCWV sticker book for that yellow, really cute yellow glittery alphabet. And I'm going to write, and I'm going to use that to write the word tall. And I originally wanted to use some like skinny, long stickers to write the word tall, but I didn't have the right color. So I just... I chose this one because they're still tall. I mean, they're not too skinny, but they're still a pretty big font in comparison to the other fonts that I'm using. So I'm using those to write tall. And I love the color, but it's, um, I had to, I had to put some glue in the back because they kept falling off. Because I guess the sticker book is so old that it, the glue is just kind of not the best anymore. And... What's really funny about that is that I was, I took a break, I believe, to go eat dinner when I was working on this. And when I came back, one of the L's was missing. So um, I looked in my sticker book and there were no more L's. <laughs> so I looked all over the place for that L. I mean, I looked at myself in the mirror to make sure it wasn't stuck on me somewhere. I looked inside my sleeves. I looked um, in the bathroom, in the at the dining table. I was just so lost, like I had no idea where I could have lost this L. So then finally I said, okay, it's, it's time to look really closely at the floor. So I walked, I like retraced my steps and um, sure enough, I found it pretty close to the door of my craft room, upside down on the floor. <laughs> but I found it, so I was like, great, I'm gonna have to change plans and do something different for the word tall because there was only those two L's in the sticker book, but thank goodness I found it. <laughs> so disaster averted. So I'm taking my Tombow, um multi-glue, I think it's called Tumble Multi, I'm not sure, but um, I think they only have two. They have that one what that's white, and they have one that's clear. And I really like that white one because it kind of it stays um, tacky for a little while. And then this was funny because I went to reinforce the back of my photo with glue, and I realized that there were two doilies under there, and you can't waste a good doily, right? So I had to take one off, and. Um, there's really, it doesn't really make any difference at all. So I took one doily off and uh, and saved it for my next, my next layout. So I'm just reinforcing everything with this, with this glue. And I love it because it already has like a really fine applicator on the tip. So I don't need to, um, I know a lot of scrappers use like fine line bottles and they're even finer than this one, but this one works well enough for me. Like I don't really have a need for a fine line bottle because this um the the applicator on this one is already so fine. So I'm just uh reinforcing everything with tape and then I thought, oh my ATJ is stuck and I look and I just what happened was that I was actually out of tape. So I had two choices. I could either pause the video and go refill it or I could just refill it and I decided that because 
I hear so many questions and so many um, discussions with scrappers about their ATGs. I decided to just film it on camera so that you guys can see how I reload mine. It's actually pretty easy. And that roll only goes in one way. Um, I tried to put it the other way and it just it didn't want to go in. So and then I know it's the wrong way and I need to turn it over. So you saw me push the trigger while I pulled on that new, um, the beginning of that roll. And I stuck it in the little wheel there. There's kind of like um, a break in that wheel and you're supposed to weave it through that little break. And then I pushed the trigger as I turned it so that I could um, roll it in. And then I had to put that black piece. I know I didn't um, film that part of it, but I, you have to put that piece back in and then lock it. So now it's ready to go. The only thing that was um, a little weird with this one is that it's supposed to be uh, a roll of acid-free tape. And all of my acid-free tape comes in white rolls. And this one was brown. So I'm a little weirded out by that. I think I might have, they might have accidentally packed it in an um, acid-free box. But it's probably, maybe not acid-free tape. Maybe it's the crafting tape, the general purpose one. I don't know. Um, but either way, you know, I just, I make my layouts for fun just for me, um, for my family to look at. I don't expect them to last hundreds of years, so. I mean, with all the stuff we put in it nowadays, I don't think that they'll last forever anyway. So, this was un pretty, like, nerve-wracking for me, doing the little, like, I decided to do some, like, fake stitching around the pineapple. And I'm using, like, my new favorite pen. It's, like, a .38 gel pen from Daiso. And I love it because it's just so fine. But I was so nervous about doing the outline. Um, I really thought like, oh my god, I'm going to mess this up. And I, I'm loving the layout so much at this point. I'm like so nervous. But I went for it and I did it anyway. And it's not perfect, but that's okay. And then I decided to write a little... Um, a little do a little frame around the layout and on the bottom I write dear girl and um, kind of include it in the flow of that outline that I'm gonna do and then on the very top there I'm gonna write um, be a pineapple and I'm just gonna try and, and make that uh, writing as flowy as possible to incorporate it in the uh, in the um, in the little frame there and then I'm, I'm also gonna add like some really tiny hearts and every time like I love this pen and I want to use it for everything but every time I do I'm like oh my god I need to go to Daiso and get another pack of these pens before they run out so actually I might just do that today <laughs> I really need to get more of these so that I can use them without the fear of running out. <laughs> Do you guys have a favorite pen? Um, leave me a comment and let me know if you have uh, like a favorite type of pen that you just love. and um, Let me know where you get them. I have a thing for pens and I have tons of them. More than I could ever use. But you know when you have your favorite one you really um, want to stock up on that so that you never run out right? <laughs> Yeah, so let me know what pens are your favorites. So here I am reinforcing that um, that little alphabet, the alphabet stickers that say tall, because they're, the glue is just it's it's too old. It's not holding on. And see, I love that that glue kind of stays tacky for a little while, so I was still able to pick up that those letters and move them. After I had stuck them down so it's not like instantly permanent. Um, it has a little, it has a little like wiggle room once you put it down. So I, I like that because I find that I always need to move stuff once I stick it down. And so yeah, there it is. And then I thought I was all done, but I'm not. I had some puffy stickers. You can see the little flowers right there. 
Thanks for joining me today. Bye.